Thank you so much. Hello. Okay. Welcome. So as we continue Happy humor our Sunday, our Happy humor, humor Sunday. Sunday. Uh, Happy humor Sunday. Uh, Ma'am. Happy humor Sunday to you. Happy humor Sunday. Uh, hello. Oh hell! Is that Janet Taylor up there? Oh my goodness! Yes, oh, it is. Happy Humor Sunday! I'll come right on up in a minute. Oh, happy Humor Sunday, Janet. Maybe you could help me up there. All right, come on. Let's have a little assistance. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, there we go. Weren't you the one that wrote the article about my sister Ethel? I was. Yes. I was. Well, you're just so talented. Why don't you sit down? Because I'm ready for my presentation. Oh, you get on down there. I tell you, those ministers are getting younger and younger, but we know, like fine wine, everything gets better with age, doesn't it? Right. Absolutely, absolutely. Wow. Well, I'm Fern McGillicuddy, and they call me a babe, as you can imagine. But they call me a Bible babe because I'm committed to the good book, and I'm committed to, spirit, to, to church being serious and somber, but I'm hearing you guys think it should be spiritual, maybe kind of silly. So I'm here to work with you people because, but you do look okay, I suppose, not too damaged. <laughs> now I'm normally here with my sister Ethel, but against my better judgment, she went off and got herself a boyfriend. Have you all ever tried to control your family? They're just out of, out of control, out of control. Not only did she get a boyfriend, she went off to Perry this week, Humor Sunday week. I could not believe it. But she did tell me two weeks before she left that she was going, and so we made us a DVD of the Bible Babes, just for you all. I'll also say I want to give an appreciation because the man that filmed our DVD and the man that's here, I heard every week filming this service is Chip Glaser. And I want to say a head, shout out to Chip. Let's give him a hand. And Chip's awful cute too. That helps a lot. So, so I'm going to try because I had never seen one of these projectors before, but I'm going to try to start it up. And let's see what we can do. Uh, okay. That looks like start right there. What's going to happen? Oh my gosh. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Let's see here. I don't know. That's another cute man. Now, uh, <laughs> do you know anything about technology? This guy right here? Steve, oh, Steve, your name's Steve? I'm Steve. It's not Steve, I'm, I'm Fern. You, you want to, I think we may need some assistance. Okay. Let's see, maybe you're, I don't know. Let's see, it's, it's supposed to go on when you push on. <laughs> but uh, we were, uh, I think I pushed that part. Let's see here. Is this on? Uh, well, I, this, it looks like it's on, see that means on. on. Okay, oh look, look, see. He's got a great brain in there. <laughs> okay. That's right, okay. Oh, I think we're cooking with gas. All right. He is. Hello, Unity Temple on the Plaza. Happy Humor Sunday. My name is Ethel McGillicuddy, and I am here with my sister, Fern McGillicuddy. We're here, all right. Yes, we're here. And we cannot be there in person. We are on location. But we wanted to stop in and say, hey, because you know, Unity Temple on the Plaza is what launched us and birthed us into stardom. Well, it birthed something. Well, it did. Let me tell you, it birthed something big. And you know, it's all about just laughter and humor in your life and here at church too. And you know what? I picked up the good book. She and does that. I, I did, and I read a verse in here that said, Make a joyful noise, all ye lands. Now, all ye lands must mean everywhere, in every land, every place, even church. And, you know, it's just about having fun and laughing a little bit, you know, just lightening up. Now, have you been reading your good book here lately, Fern? Well, I certainly hadn't found any funny parts. Well, honey, let me tell you, it has got some good stuff in there. It does. Right. Well, okay. All right. Well, so we've been getting this message about laughter in church. And so 
we're just here to tell you a little story that kind of has a little humorous bent to it. All right. Okay. Yeah, I remember right, that's right. the one you told me to look up, and I got and it from that the story about that yeah. church. Yeah, I don't, I don't know, know where church. it is, it's, but it's just something else. Well, it's right here in black and white, right? All right. What's right it say? What's okay. 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 But it talks about a feud that yeah, was going yeah, yeah. on in a church between the minister. And the choir director. Oh my! Yeah, that's right. Not like you know, not Unity Temple, of course. Never. They're, they're peaceful. Never, um, never. It's never, about never. one of those other kind of churches. But anyway, so we're just going to get this because this was on the internet. But so let me tell you, the preacher came in one day with his view was going on, and he talked about commitment, and he talked about how the church should dedicate themselves to service. Very important. Well, he, yeah, that's absolutely. what he said. And absolutely. so then the choir director led the choir in what song do you think? Okay, they're in a feud. I bet it was I Shall Not Be Moved. That was the song. That was the song. <laughs> Very good. So oh the, my, the that feud was not nice. continued. No, it wasn't. That was not but nice. then it was kind of funny. That's kind of funny. Yeah, but the next Sunday, the preacher, I don't think the preacher found it funny, because the <laughs> next okay. time he came in and he talked about giving okay, and how good. they should gladly give oh, to the give. work of the Lord. That's right, give to the Lord. And what do you think the choir sang that day? I bet it was Jesus paid it all. They, they, they did. That was it. <laughs> that was it, Ethel. You're good. You're oh, good. Okay. We're on this thing. Uh, so so he that. is mad, mad pastor, steaming, okay, coming out of his ears. Yep. So the next Sunday, the preacher preached on gossiping and yeah, how they, they should watch their tongues. No. And what do you think the choir side? Mm. Oh, I bet it was this one. I love to tell the story. Oh, I tell you, that you're it? good. You <laughs> She's a good singer too. I tell you, so we get that squire day. I'm just that was it. You picked that up. I didn't seem to get that part. Idea. Well, the next Sunday, the preacher's finished, and he says, "I'm disgusted, and next Sunday I'm going to leave. I'm going. I'm thinking I'm resigning." And what do you think the choir said? He's resigning. Hmm. Oh, why not tonight? Uh, that's right. <laughs> Isn't that awful? That's, well, that's awful, but you know, funny. It's, it's funny, but it's bad. Okay, yeah. okay. So then the preacher resigned the next week, oh, and he told the terrible. church that Jesus had led him to the church, and Jesus had led him away from the church. Oh. And what do you think that choir sang then? I bet that choir sang, what a friend we have in Jesus. <laughs> I tell you, it you does think? make me laugh. I do feel better. It's funny and that was it. That was it. That was it. That was it. Oh, so that was it's a good funny. thing that these th things don't happen at Unity Temple. That's why we can all laugh about so it. Just hold that church in prayer. That's right. We'll hold, hold that church in prayer. in prayer. All right. But in the meantime, I, you know, I think, I think Duke. Are we done? Yeah, I can, I, Duke is all Duke about we're time. Duke, we're done. We're done. Duke time. We're on the Duke time table. All right. All right. Well, I think we should end with our slogan that we have taken on. Absolutely. Okay. Here it is. You don't stop laughing. When you get old, you get old because you stop laughing. Here we are signing off the Bible, babe. Happy Humor Sunday. Happy Humor Sunday. We love you. See you next time. Oh, you're going to help us some more, Steve. That's okay, thank you. But you know, now David's probably going to need to be in that spot. So, should we just... Okay, well, I'm, that's not my department. So, there we go. I'm glad you guys got to laugh with us. because We sure have fun putting that stuff together. Now, I'm going to introduce, it's my pleasure to introduce our keynote speaker, David Naster. And David Naster has been making people laugh, prof laugh professionally, unlike myself, <laughs> for 34 years. He's performed in all 50 states, 12 countries, and three continents. And David is currently a headline act for Norwegian Cruise Lines. And last year, he was voted number one entertainment for 2010. He's an author of three books on how humor helps us get through our lives in tough times. And a couple of them were international award winners. David's soon to release a documentary film showing why we must laugh and find humor in life's most difficult times. And it features people like Patch Adams and Bernie Siegel and firefighters from Ground Zero. And so we will hear more about that during his talk. But he says that his greatest accomplishment is none of all of those things. It is simply 
paying attention. So let us welcome David Nestor.